KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll take you outside, check the view. Sky Cam 8 Monterey at yeah, a low clouds. They've been uh, kind of playing hide and seek all day. A lot of the beaches did have sunshine, but across the peninsula, of course, you held on to some of that. And that kept the temps down. 59 right now. Dew point at 50. You got a relative humidity of 72%. Earlier today, yeah, pretty warm. 78. I got some low 80s, middle 80s up there in the Santa Cruz Mountains and about a 70 in Watts. But marine layers starting to come down a little bit. So we'll see less low clouds tonight and tomorrow. Low 60s on the peninsula, 61, 62 degrees, pretty much covers it. You get out to Carmel Valley, though, different story, 77 there, 75 in Big Sur. We had a mix of 70s and 80s in the Salinas Valley, and a 68 here in Salinas, sunny and breezy this afternoon. And 70s, 80s, and even the 90s popping now. Gilroy was at 94, and we had 84 in Hollister. So pretty warm, and then you get hot. Uh, 90s, triple digits, Bakersfield, 109 in Palm Springs earlier today, 107 on the Strip in Vegas, and a real nice 82 up in Lake Tahoe. Again, cooler stuff all along the coast from San Diego back up to San Francisco, a mix of 60s and 70s. Definitely summertime now. We've got a lot of 70s in St. Louis, in New York, down to Atlanta, 87, a warm night. Remember, it's a few hours later there. And then Texas becomes the focus of most of what's happening across the U.S. That's Bill, Tropical Storm Bill. We probably will not be calling him Tropical Storm Bill in a couple of hours. He'll be downgraded, but the rain will remain nonetheless. This moisture coming up from the Gulf is just torrential. I mean, it's raining two, three, four, five inches. In some cases, it'll be raining four to eight inches over the next 24 to 48 hours. Massive amounts of flooding expected, and it's turning dark, which makes it really tricky tonight. This box right here is not for the flooding. They are under all kinds of flash flood watches and warnings. That's for the chance of tornadoes. Usually tornadoes happen in the late part of the afternoon and evening. Then the sun goes down, they usually die off. Not the case when you have a land falling tropical storm or a hurricane. And this, again, this whole box here could be anywhere uh, where you could see a tornado. So that makes things really scary tonight uh, for folks in Texas. From San Francisco down to San Diego, still looking at some low clouds, but they're thinning out. Marine layer is starting to give up. And we got high pressure. So some of this heat's going to start building back in again tomorrow. So we'll see an even warmer day tomorrow. A little bit cooler as we get into Thursday, though. So there'll be this ebb and flow. And you can kind of see that a little bit of cooling on Thursday. Friday, the warmth or the heat starts to build back in. So we'll have, again, a little uptick and downtick of the temps. But nothing major in terms of the changes here the next several days. Light winds, a little bit of a sea breeze. So again, if you're around the coast tomorrow, Hey, no heat there, and we'd need offshore flow for that. Forecast for tonight, areas of bay fog, otherwise mostly clear hills and valleys. Tomorrow, it's going to be warm inland, mostly 80s to middle 90s. So again, if you're working outdoors, light-colored, loose-fitting clothing, plenty of fluids. Ocean fog in the morning, but sunny skies in the afternoon. Most of the beaches should clear out. 70s to the upper 70s in the south and east bay, but 60s in San Francisco. And then 79 to about 96 between San Jose and Gilroy. So again, that range there in the normal hot spots. 83 in Gonzales, 87 in King City, 70s here in Salinas after overnight lows in the low to mid 50s. Middle 50s to, well, middle 60s, about a 10 degree spread between morning lows and afternoon highs across the peninsula. Figuring on sunshine, though, in the afternoon and a breeze. 89 in Boulder Creek, 85 in Scotts Valley, middle 70s in Wattsville, and about 80 downtown Santa Cruz. Seven day forecast showing mostly 80s to around 90 inland. Again, a little warmer, a little cooler, a little ebb and flow there, the marine layer, but no big changes, no total clearing. A lot of sunshine in the afternoons, though. 80s and 90s over the weekend, and Sunday, of course, is Father's Day. Don't forget about that. Your seven day at the coast, showing low clouds in the morning, some fog and some drizzle possible, and then back to the 60s and 70s in the afternoons with plenty of sunshine. So, a nice little pattern we're in here, and you can kind of find what you like. You know, yeah. we got 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s in the afternoon. So, a little bit of heat, but it's certainly a no widespread heat wave.